What's up? Eric Butler here for TatumReport.com, and a hate crime investigation is underway after alleged Proud Boys stormed Drag Queen Story Hour at Bay Area Library. So they are quick to hop on the hate crime label as they continue to ignore all of the regular crime happening every single day in the Bay Area and Los Angeles. But for some reason, I feel like San Francisco kind of flies under the radar. We do hear about the homelessness and the drug use, but the city's mayor, London Breed, is corrupt as they come, just like de Blasio or Adams or Cuomo or Holchel or Whitmer or any of these people, but she doesn't quite get the press. She even paid out like $20,000 because of her corruption, but nobody really seems to care. And it's a similar thing with the San Francisco Bay Area media. It's full of lies and deceit, but for some reason, they don't quite get the attention. Perhaps it's because their population is so deep into the matrix that no matter what happens, they will always go to bat for the crooked establishment. Now, they did just vote out the Soros-funded DA, Chesa Boudin, so I suppose that's a start. But the story says... Police are investigating an incident that occurred at a drag queen story hour at the San Lorenzo Library on Saturday afternoon after Panda Dolce, Panda Dulce, the San Francisco drag performer hosting the reading, said they were targeted by a group of 8 to 10 Proud Boys who stormed the room and shouted homophobic and transphobic threats at them, forcing them to leave the event with a security guard and hide in the back office. So I guess just because you scream something that's a threat, who really knows what they said? They, This media outlet, as well as the drag performers, I don't believe can be trusted. I mean, any man dressed up as a woman telling you that he wants to read books to your children is a little bit untrustworthy, but that's just me. It goes on. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office said that police responded to a report of a disturbance at the library around 1.30 p.m. and discovered five men described as members of the Proud Boys organization. The men were described as extremely aggressive with a threatening, violent demeanor. Oh, kind of like how uh, the Covington kid had a menacing smirk on his face. I mean, the demeanor is what you're after, that's why? Or is it because somebody is simply questioning your weirdo gender ideology? Anytime somebody even poses the question, they absolutely lose it. But when violence is, when somebody basically tries to kill a conservative Supreme Court justice, nobody really bats an eye. But if some protesters show up at a drag queen story hour, it's threatening and it's extreme. Kind of like how AOC was retelling the story of January 6th and none of these people are to be trusted. That much is obvious. And they say it's, oh, it's so aggressive and threatening. There was some video that went viral a couple days ago or a couple of weeks ago, maybe months now. I'm not quite sure. There's so much happening. I can't keep track anymore. But there's a video out of the Bay Area, Oakland to be specific, right across the bridge of what appears to be high school children throwing eggs and groceries and trash at a freedom convoy driving through Oakland. And that didn't really get reported. It wasn't called aggressive or or extreme, even though I believe that to be the most extreme form of this. You got little kids who are supposed to be in school who have been brainwashed by the fake news media throwing eggs at cars with American flags because that they think anybody with an American flag who doesn't want to be told to stay at home by Gavin Newsom while he's out at the French Laundry, those people are evil and those people are racist and those people are science deniers. This is absolute insanity and it needs to stop. And of course, Senator Scott Weiner had to chime in. He said on Twitter yesterday, Proud Boys stormed Drag Queen Story Hour at San Lorenzo Public Library wearing AK-47 shirts and calling the drag queen pedophile and it. A right-wing militia was arrested for planning to attack Pride in Idaho. Direct results of political attacks on LGBTQ people. So, of course, he's going to ignore the fact that it was only a couple days ago, a week maybe, that somebody was arrested for basically attempting to kidnap and or assassinate a conservative Supreme Court justice. But when the violence is directed at their opponents, they literally do not blink an eye. And when somebody simply questions their narrative, their gender ideology. It's the most extreme thing that could possibly happen. They were wearing AK-47 shirts, and of course, they need to be dealt with. And this is the guy who, only a week or so ago, also suggested 
that Drag Queen Story Hour or Drag Queen 101 should be a mandatory part of the K-12 through curriculum in California. And I'm not going to list all of the awful things Senator Scott Weiner has done. You can look into those for yourself. But I will say this man cannot be trusted. Neither can these drag queens and neither can this Bay Area left-wing media. Thank you for watching another Tatum Report video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to us everywhere on social media. And if God has put it in your heart, give us a donation. See you on the next video.